Hi there everyone! In this Christmas episode I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful Christmas baubles. So obviously this one is just done in the two colours but I have a variation here of it as well where it's been done in slightly maybe less traditional colours but I just wanted to work up a couple of different options so that you could see how it would look. So the patterns actually look quite different when using different sets of colours. Obviously with using just the two it does look like almost a completely different pattern to the other one obviously here in the multicolours. But you may also notice that even though the baubles inside themselves are the same size I actually needed to do one more round of stitches on the red and white because the yarn was slightly thinner. Um, even though I used the same size hook for both of these, this yarn here which is the Lamia Pastel Cotton. Even though I use the same size hook, the yarn itself is thicker and so I only went up to the, well it will make more sense later, but the second to last row of the spike stitches. So even though they're the same size on the inside and I use the same hook, because the yarns were slightly different thicknesses, um, I do have one extra row of stitches on the red and white. So. Obviously, if you were using thicker yarn, you would just work up to the point where your two halves would, would meet. Now in mine, I'm going to be using um, the polystyrene ball, but obviously you can use an old bauble that you have lying around. Maybe that doesn't fit your colour scheme anymore. Um, you can use, you can, you know, repurpose them by giving them nice new little jackets, as it were. But you can also use toy stuffing as well. I mean obviously they won't be hard baubles but you can give them a good stuffing and they would work really well as well. But let's crack on with this beautiful pattern. And also obviously if this is your first time visiting my channel then please do subscribe now to keep up to date with all of my weekly tutorials and also my yarn reviews and special projects and things like that. So make sure you do subscribe now if you don't already. So for the inside of my baubles, I just ordered these polystyrene spheres. Now these were really, really cheap. I got them off eBay. I got a pack of five for about two pounds and that included delivery as well. And I'm going to be using the Lamia Baby Cotton so I'm going to be doing the red and white one purely so that we can get to the very last row of stitches. So then you've got the complete pattern if you want it, if you were using the slightly thinner yarn. But as I say, if you're using slightly thicker yarn, just work up to the, the round that you need to. So these baubles centers that I'm using are seven centimeters, just to give you a rough idea. So I'm actually going to do the opposite for this one. I'm going to start with white. So again, I'm going to be using a three and a half millimeter hook, just like I did for my other two baubles. So you want to start with a magic ring. Now, if you're not sure how to do that, then I will leave a link to it in the description box to a much slower video. So you're going to start with your magic ring. And then you're going to do a chain three. So that little chain one will count as one of your chains, but so now we just need to add a chain two. So one and two. And now into this magic ring, we're going to work 11 treble crochets. So obviously that, that initial chain is going to count as one of those trebles. So you will only need to do 11 more trebles into this magic ring. But remember, this is UK terminology in the US. This is your double crochet. So yarn over, insert into your magic ring, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the final two loops. So I'll do one more with you, yarn over, insert into your magic ring, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And make sure you're working over the ring and the tail for all of these stitches. So that's three now, and we want a total of 12. So if you just want to continue that, and I will meet you once you have got your 12 treble crochets. 
So as you've got your 12 trebles, and obviously remember to count that first set of chains as your first one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So once you're happy that you've got 12, you're going to pull on that tail and tighten up. But don't pull it too tight at this point because you just want to slip stitch into the top of that first set of chains that we did. So you're going to count 1, 2 and 3 and you're going to slip stitch, so yarn over and pull through both of the loops on your hook. And at this point now you can tighten that circle up even more. So I'm going to snip off. This pattern is very tail heavy, so, but the good news is you don't have to sew them all in if you don't want to. You can just leave them, as long as you've knotted them off well, you can just leave them loose because obviously you can just tuck them inside the bauble. So you've done your little chain one and snipped off and then you can simply pull out that tail and tighten up. Now your magic ring tail you will need to sew that one around a couple of times just to make sure that it's nice and secure. So we're going to move on to round two and we want to start with a standing half treble crochet. So you want a slip knot on your hook so obviously in the US, remember, this is your standing half double crochet. So you just want to have a yarn over on your hook and then just hold that stitch with your finger. And you can go into the top of any of your trebles, it doesn't matter, but make sure you go through the whole of the stitch, so make sure you've got that V. Yarn over and pull up and you'll have your three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that is a standing half treble crochet. Chain one, and then you're going to go back into that same space where you've just come up from, So and do another half treble. So yarn over, back into that same space, yarn over and pull up, again, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three of those loops chain one and then you're going to go into the top of the next treble here and you're going to do another V stitch so a half treble chain one half treble all into that same stitch. I apologize if you can hear that noise outside but my neighbors are doing some garden DIY. <laughs> so I've done my first half treble and my chain one and then another half treble in the same space. Chain one. And you're going to repeat that all the way round. So you're going to have a V stitch, which will consist of a half treble, chain one, half treble, all into the same stitch, chain one, and move on to your next V stitch. So at this at the end of this round you should have 12 V stitches. So I will meet you in just a second. Okay, so I finished my final V stitch and I've done my chain one and then we're going to close off with a slip stitch into the top of that first half treble that we did at the beginning of the row, round, sorry. So you're just going to pop your hook through the hole of that stitch and slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through both. Chain one, and again we're going to snip off and pull that out and don't worry if it's a little bit wobbly almost around the edges um, obviously that will all sort itself out okay so round three we're going to start with a standing stitch again so you need to get your slip knot on your hook and we're going to be starting with a standing treble this time so obviously US double so yarn over again and just hold it with your finger and we're going to be working in the chain one space in between the v-stitches so obviously you can see the v-stitches here we've got two sets of v-stitches there we're going into the chain one space in between so yarn over and again hold your stitch and you can go into any chain one space Yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. 
So that's one treble and then we're going to put another treble into that same chain one space. So yarn over, back into that same space and complete your treble, chain one. And then you're going to skip across the whole of that V stitch and you're going to go into the next chain one space and do two treble crochets. So one and two, chain one. Again, skip over the whole of that V stitch and two trebles. Chain one and you're just going to do that all the way around. So it's a nice easy round this one. So two trebles in between each of your V stitches separated by a chain one. So I will meet you in a moment as you get towards the other side. Okay, so I'm just coming towards the end of this round now. I've done my final set of trebles and my chain one and I'm going to skip over the top of this last V stitch and slip stitch into the top of that very first treble that we did. Again, I'm going to be snipping off, so chain one and snip off and pull that out. Now you can see mine's starting to look like a little basket and don't panic, you do want it to be curling, you don't want it to be lay flat because obviously, let me just pop that the right way, you want it to be sitting around the ball. So that is how you should be looking at the end of round three and as I say you should be curling in a little bit now. Okay, so round four, again you're going to start with a slip knot on your hook and we're going to start in the top of, of those trebles. So you remember you've got your two trebles together and we're going to start with a double crochet in the top of one of those trebles. So remember, obviously, UK double. So I'm going to insert my hook and go through the whole of the stitch so that you've got the V. And you're just going to yarn over and pull up a loop. So you've got two loops there yarn over, pull through both. So that is your first double crochet. We then want to work down into this previous row. So round two we're going to be working into where we have the V stitches and you're just going to put a spiked double crochet into the, space, the chain one space in between the two trebles of the V stitch. So it's an extended double crochet down into that chain one space. So in between the two trebles, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull up. Keep it a little bit loose so that you don't scrunch up your stitches and then yarn over, pull through both. So that will give us a spiked extended double crochet down into that stitch. You're then going to work a double into the top of each of the next two trebles. So through the whole of the stitch again. So yarn over, pull through both, that's one and into the top of the second treble and then again you're going to go down into the chain one space between the trebles of the V stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over and pull through both. So you're going to work that all the way around so a double into the top of both of the trebles and then the extended one down into that chain one space. So I will meet you in just a second. So I'm all the way around now and I've done my final double crochet into the top of my last treble. And to finish off, you're simply going to slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet that we did. Chain one, because I'm changing colors again. And pull that through. So there we are now at the end of round four. So again, standing stitch, so we need a slip knot on the hook. So we're going to do a standing treble or double in the US and you just want to start in the top of any of your normal double crochet. So don't start into the top of one of the extended ones, you would just want to start in the top of one of your normal double crochet. So yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over, pull through two. So there we have a standing treble. Now if you've started in one, the one just before one of your spike stitches, that is probably best. So the one just before one of your extended doubles. So I've started in the top of the one just before that because we want to chain one to skip over the top of that extended double and then we're going to do one treble into the top of both of the normal <clears throat> of the normal double crochet so one and two chain one jump over the top of the extended double and treble into the next two doubles. So you're going to do that all the way around and this round again you should find your work starting to um, curl which is what we want so don't don't worry about it. That's what we want to happen. So two trebles and then a chain one to jump over the extended one and I will see you in just a moment. So I'm just going to work my last treble now into that final double crochet and then I'm ready to slip stitch to the top of that first treble. Chain one, snip off so again, it should be really starting to curl up now, so you'll probably need to just turn it the right way. So that is how you should be looking. Now obviously at this point, depending on the yarn that you've chosen and the, the hook size and things, you just want to make sure that you're not going too big, if you like, for whatever it is you're covering. Obviously you can use the polystyrene ball, you can use an old bauble or you can obviously even use toy stuffing. So you just want to pop it on and just see how close you are to getting halfway around whatever it is you're choosing to cover. So I can see obviously that I'm nowhere near halfway yet with this particular yarn. Whereas if I was using the pastel cotton, then I would probably only be doing one more, like this next row and then stitching together. Whereas with this yarn, I'm going to be doing two more rows. So you just need to sort of play it by ear and obviously just stop when you approach the middle. You don't want them you don't want it to be exactly halfway because you do want to have to pull it slightly to get the two halves to join up. So just sort of see where you are at this point. So again now if you're needing to do more rounds we're going to be starting with a standing treble again. So you're going to be putting it into the top of your trebles from the previous row. So yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two. So I've started in the top of one of my trebles here, so I've started in the first one of my set. And then we're going to do a treble into the top of the next treble. So again, UK terms here. And then we're going to be jumping down into the top of the extended double from the previous row. And this time we're going to be doing a treble. So you're going to yarn over insert through the top of the whole of that stitch from the extended double crochet, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you're working down into the top of that extended double from round four. And then treble into the top of the next two trebles. So one and two. And then again, you're going to jump down and work the treble into the top of the extended double. So yarn over, insert your hook through the hole of that stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, and then just complete your treble as normal. So if you want to continue working that all the way around, 
and I will meet you in just a second. So I've just worked my final extended treble into that stitch below and then I'm ready to slip stitch to finish off this round. Chain one. And again, at this point you need to check the size over whatever it is you're choosing to cover. So technically I could finish here because I'm very nearly at the halfway point, but I just want to add for mine one more final row of detail because I want to do some um, post stitches just to give it this little bit of texture that you can see on this one. But as I say, you can finish at this point if you want and then just skip forwards to the joining tutorial once you've made your other half. But I'm just going to do one final set of stitches. I'm going to be starting with a standing double. So again, slip knot on my hook and I'm going to start in the top and we're going to start in the top of one of the spiked trebles so you can choose any one that you like into the top of that stitch so again through the whole of the stitch yarn over and pull up and complete your double so again UK double US single and then around the next two trebles we're going to do a back post double crochet so you're going to insert your hook around the back of that treble, come in front and back out the other side and then you'll yarn over and pull up and complete your double as normal. So you're going to yarn over and pull through both. And you're going to do that again around the next treble, so back post double. So you're going to come from around the back over the top of the treble and back out the other side, yarn over and pull up and complete your double, so yarn over, pull through both and then you're going to do a normal double crochet into the top of this, the extended spiked treble if you like you're going to just do a normal one into that stitch and then again a back post double around the two normal trebles one and two. So if you just want to continue that all the way around, so a normal double into the top of your extended treble and then two back post doubles around the two normal trebles and I will meet you at the other side. I've completed my final back post stitch and I'm ready to fasten off now with a slip stitch into the top of that very first double crochet. So slip stitch, chain one and snip off. So for me that is my first half completed. You can't really tell at this point how those back post stitches are going to look because they're sort of tucked under but once we stitch together and those stitches are pulled up you will see the lovely little bit of texture that you will get from those final stitches. So now obviously I, you need to make another one in exactly the same way and obviously make sure you do the same colours in the same order so that when you get to this point you have got the same colour ready to stitch together. So when you get towards the end of your very final round of however many rounds you choose to use. Um, when it comes to that very final stitch you want to make sure that you don't snip off with a small tail. You want to leave a really long tail for sewing together so I, I always overestimate to be safe but give yourself a good 8 inches um, of yarn to sew them together. So make your second half and I will meet you and we will stitch them together. So you can probably leave all of your other ends because they're just obviously going to be hidden inside itself. 
um, but you do just need to tighten up that one from the very beginning from the magic circle bit so you just want to make sure that that tail is just woven through a few of those stitches do the same on this one obviously you can sew them in if you want to because if if the mess will just get on your nerves then by all means get rid of them and sew them all in but those of you that have been following me for a while um know that I'm not a great lover of sewing in ends so I've done the magic circle tail and the rest of them because you can't see them anyway I'm just tucking on the inside so the same with this one so obviously on this final one I've left a great big long tail ready for sewing together so now you just need to get whatever it is that you are attaching these pieces to and thread up your needle and we're just going to do a really simple sewing stitch to actually stitch them together. Mine's trying to roll away. So try and line up your stitches. So obviously on you want to make sure that you have got the top of the same stitches on either side. So obviously I've done all of the rows and so I've got the double crochet and the back post double crochet. So at the moment I'm attached in the top of one of the normal double crochets. So I want to find the corresponding stitch on the other side. And I'm just literally going to thread that all the way through. And because I've slip stitched, I'm just going to go back through that stitch again just to make that nice and secure. So now I'm just going to go through the whole of the top of the next double crochet so I've got both loops and through the whole of the top of the corresponding double crochet on the other side and pull that tight and again through the whole of the top of the next double crochet and the whole of the corresponding double on the other side. And again, pull tight and you're just going to do that all the way around. So working through the whole of the stitch, the corresponding stitch on the other side and pull tight. So you're going to work that all the way around. It does get a little bit fiddly, obviously, um, as you're tightening up your stitches, but you just, as long as you hold them tight, they're not going to go anywhere and they will be fine. So it just takes a little bit of muscle and a little bit of practice. But it shouldn't take too long stitch them together. Now obviously if you're working around an actual bauble there will be the point that you're just going to have to miss some stitches because obviously the hanging section will be there so just bear that in mind as you go around and you can always use your tail to tighten that part up afterwards as well to close off any of those gaps. So if you just want to continue doing this and I will meet you in a second where we will completely finish off. So I've gone all the way around now. You can see I've got a nice neat join there and I've closed off that little gap at the very beginning. And so now I'm just going to fasten off. So I'm going to just go up through two stitches. So any two stitches and just keep your finger on through a loop there and then pop your needle through that loop and pull that tight and then I'm simply just going to weave this tail down through a couple 
of those stitches on the outside. So pretty much just anywhere you like really. Just weave that through and then finally I'm just going to weave that tail across the top of the inside and I'm just going to come out through one of those stitches and I'm going to pull that tight snip off give it a little rub to push that tail back through and there you have now your completed Christmas bauble so I really really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and followed along with it nice and easily and I really can't wait to see some of the colour combinations that you use so please do tag me on Instagram if you use this tutorial to make some beautiful baubles like these ones but I will see you for another tutorial very soon. It'll be interesting as well to see how many rows people do with this pattern, how many they need depending obviously on the yarn that they choose but these two are done obviously with the same pattern but just work to different points. So I will see you for a normal tutorial, another tutorial very very soon but I hope you've enjoyed this special Christmas one. But thanks as always for watching and I will see you again very soon.